Right, I've uh, reached my destination, which is Armscliff Crag. Uh, you probably see it through here, through the window. Just obscured uh, some of it by that tree. But I'll be showing you more of it. And uh, today I'm coming out to test two pieces of equipment. Uh, one that I haven't used for a couple of years, and the other one I've had it a while and I've never used it. Uh, I'm going to take my Roliflex 3.5F. I fitted it with a, an orange filter just to give me that little bit of a contrast increase. And uh, this little thing, which is the Voigtlander uh, VC2 uh, hot shoe meter. Tiny little meter, gets some good reviews. Uh, the, I'm trying to keep things as light as possible because I'm going on holiday in uh, a few weeks. And I want to use a medium format camera, but I want to keep the weight down as much as I can because we do do a lot of walking. And I thought, well, if I if I test the roll effects and that's working fine, I'll um, I'll take that. And if this works as it should do, I will certainly take this meter because it's um, you know the, the weight's really nothing. I've, I've heard good reports about this meter, so we'll just see how we go with it. The only thing is I can't fit this to the roll effects uh, to to the roll effects because there's no hot shoe mount. This is a designed to go on a hot show uh, but I can use it handheld and um, I'll just point at a, a mid grey area and um, uh, work from those readings so we'll see how that goes. Uh, the weather today uh, is a mixture of sunshine, uh, showers and uh, heavy rain so I'm sure I'm going to get wet but um, I do like coming out in the, um, in weather like this because it does a uh, uh, you know, it just create uh, more atmospheric shots than coming out when it's dry and sunny. Um, it, it does uh, take a bit of pushing yourself to go out when when the weather's like this, but I think it's well worth the effort. So I'll um, get the camera back in its bag, etc., and then uh, we'll take a walk up to the crag and see what I can find to photograph. Well, I think I've uh, found uh, my first shot, and that's this uh, wall leading away. And uh, what I might try and do is use a um, narrow focus, uh, sorry, narrow depth of field, so uh, the field, the wall goes slightly out of focus as, as it goes to the background. So we'll just see. I'll take a light meter reading now, and then uh, set the camera up. I found a, another photograph which is this. I did a study of these rocks a while back with a pinhole camera uh, so this is going to look a little bit different uh, but uh, I'll get the camera set up and take the picture and see, uh, see if it turns out with some nice uh, clouds so we haven't got that plain sky.
Well, I've taken a couple of shots uh, using the VC meter for metering, and um, I compared them to the light meter on the Roliflex, and it was giving me the same reading. And I didn't think the Roliflex one after all years would be accurate. Anyway, <coughs> I tried it with my uh, Siconic uh, meter, instant light reading, and I came up with the same reading on the Roliflex. So it's looking like it's giving an accurate reading. So I'm going to continue to use the meter on the Roliflex and see how that goes. Right, this is my uh, net subject. Uh, I'm going to photograph on this first post here and see if I can throw the background slightly out of focus just to add a little bit of depth to the image. Um, just need the sun to come out a little bit more, a little bit more brightness and uh, see how that one goes. Sorry about this wind noise, but uh, I'm not going to be too bad with uh, I'm going to take a picture of this. I think in Yorkshire we call these clips and rags. So I'm going to take a picture of those. I apologise if the sound quality is uh, pretty bad. It's just this wind is very, very strong. look at that cloud we're going to get a right downpour so I'm going to have to uh, uh, quickly uh, find some shelter uh, see, see if I can keep dry you know they say who dares wins I don't know if it's true all I do know is who dares gets wet <laughs> you can see here down in the valley the rain is just sweeping across massive downpour over there that's towards Harrogate. I think I'm going to get wet. Trying to get a little bit of shelter under this rock. It's really coming down now. That big black cloud, once it comes, should be okay. You can see in the valley. Going towards Harrogate, how bad it is. Absolutely silent now, trying to get a bit of shelter. But it's very really difficult, it's blowing all over. Might try and get down there. Whoa, it's windy up here. It helped me uh, go product blow away. For this next shot, I'm going to use what they call a, a rolling R. Uh, the rolling flex on its own can't focus very close. I think it's about two and a half uh, feet. But if you put these on, it enables you uh, to focus closer and you get no parallax error. So I'm just fitting this one on. So you have one for the viewing lens and the magnified one for the taking lens. And inside the viewing lens it's got prisms. Um, I don't know how it works but it means the closer you get um, it alters the uh, field of view and you don't get parallax error. I don't think I'm going to be able to show you the tech in this shot uh, but um, uh, I'll show you after I've taken it. I'm going to take uh, a photograph of this uh, big rock, rock outcrop. Um, 
but not now while the sun's fully out. I'm just going to wait till it's uh, gone behind a cloud a little bit. Uh, so I'll just sit and wait. Uh, there's clouds coming, so it should make a good photograph, this, I hope. Just waiting while it goes behind the cloud, and it's just going to do that now. So I'll take this picture. Right, that's got that photograph. Uh, I've got two shots left. Just walking around here, saw this rock. <laughs> I'm not going to sit underneath it, it looks so dodgy. held up by those two stones and it's a huge rock. But for this photograph of this rock, um, because the Roliflex doesn't have a depth of field a preview book, uh, it's got a very good uh, depth of field scale. So I've used that to try and get the foreground and the rock all in focus uh, for this shot. Uh, this is the view through the Roliflex uh, viewfinder. It's um, a little bit reflection, but it's a really beautiful 3D viewfinder. So that's about it. Uh, I've been battered by the wind, uh, soaked by the rain and cooked by the sun. Uh, but it's getting a little bit late now, but uh, I've enjoyed myself. Uh, probably got, I've hopefully I've got some decent shots, but I won't know until I've uh, developed the negatives, obviously. Um, the Rolly Flex uh, performed flawlessly. And you know, I don't know why I don't use this camera more often. It's a beautiful camera to use. Uh, to look through that viewfinder, you know, it's like looking a 3D image and uh, everything just seems to fall in place uh, it's such a joy, a joy to use so I, I will use it more and not leave it in the cupboard at home one of the things that did surprise me was how accurate the old selenium cell meter is comparing it to my Seaconic and the VC2 meter it was giving me the same readings so I took uh, I think one or two shots uh, using the the Voigtlander VC2 meter and then I just used the Roliflex meter so we'll see see how that goes. So as I say, I'll get home now and uh, I'm a little bit hungry and uh, get these developed and hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, they're all gonna be okay. So once again, uh, thank you for watching. If you like the content, please give me a like or better still, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you for watching. And Roliflex is king. <laughs>